What's up YouTube, Jake Spades Reptiles. This week's video, I am going to be revealing the Candino Genetic Stripe Clutch. It's a little early to tell if we got Candy or Candino, especially on the two genetic stripes, but uh, I wanted to show you guys the clutch right when they hatched um, and have shed out. That way we can kind of show how they progress as they get older. In a couple months, we'll do another follow-up video once we know for sure which ones are the candinos, which ones are the albinos, and which ones are the candies. This week's video, again, we're just gonna show the clutch. They've all shut out. I've done some teasers, and I wanted to just kinda show you what we got. So let's see what they look like. First, I'm going to show you the, gene the non-genetic stripe babies that are going to look basically albino. Um, there is pastel in the mix, and uh, it was candino to candino, uh, so there will be 25% candy, 50% candino, and then 25% albino in this clutch. Uh, that's what the odds would say. So the problem is, when they first hatch out, they all look albino. Uh, the candies are probably going to be a little bit darker, and I think that there's a couple that are showing that now. For the most part, they're going to look like albinos, and with pastel in the mix too, it's going to kind of throw things off even a, a little bit more. This is going to be my best guess. As I said earlier, in a, probably about a month, maybe a month and a half, I'll do an update on exactly what they are. Uh, once they've started to color up a little bit, we'll know what are candinos, what are candies, and then what are the albinos. And we should also be able to figure out the pastel and stuff as well. So um, I'm just gonna show you each of them. First one here, this is a pastel albino. And I, I would actually say this is probably gonna be a candino or albino. I don't think it's gonna be the candy. Now, the way that I'm kind of judging that is uh, Garrick DeMeyer's video on candino, toffino, they're the same thing. The candies have the darkest eyes, and then candinos have darker eyes than albinos, and albinos almost have orange eyes instead of red. Um, and so this guy's uh, eyes are kind of between orange and like that like dark red. So I'm gonna say that this one is gonna be probably a candino, um, a pastel candino, and the reason for pastel is there is so much of the side pattern, uh, lots of little dots and stuff. There's also these orange spots in, in the saddles, which would be blushing in a uh, normal ball python, so, or a pastel. The other thing is how white the head is. Uh, again, pastels have blushed out heads, so they're gonna have less yellow um, and no black. Um, so um, I believe that that's, what this one is. So this one's gonna be the pastel, candino or albino. I don't think this one's candy. Okay guys, so the next one, now this I believe is going to be a candy and I'm gonna guess that we got pastel in this one too. Now, kind of everything I said about the one before this, I'm gonna contradict here. Um, and so this might just be a candy. Um, and all of these are possible het genetic stripe as well, which from hatching out a lot of het genetic stripes and stuff, I've kind of noticed that there is a little bit of a difference in their color and stuff, and that could be playing into some of this as well. But this one's eyes are definitely some of the darkest in the clutch, um, almost a purple. And the other thing is the, the white isn't white. It's more of a lavender, a very faint lavender. It's pretty much white. He has some nice orange um, as well. And I actually, we haven't sexed these, so I don't know males, females, I'm just talking here. But I would say that this one is a candy. Um, it's at least a candino. And with the breeding, I would, I would probably lean towards candy. And I don't think that this one, actually I'm gonna say, I don't think this one did get pastel. There's too much orange on the head. It wouldn't show as blushing, that would be yellow on a normal ball python, so. But again, we will, once they color up a little bit more, I think the pastel is gonna be a little bit easier to pick out. Um, and again, in a month, we will give definitively what these are. I don't, none of these will be available until we're sure what they are. And 
depending on sexes, maybe none of them will be available anyway, because these this is some of the only ones in the world in this project. So we're gonna keep as much as we can to be able to uh, produce as much as we can in the future. But this one's definitely, to me, Candino, probable candy. Um, and with the candy and Candino, we're probably gonna have, like, we're probably not gonna know for sure until we've actually bred them. Uh, but I think we're gonna be able to be pretty sure. That's that one. Okay guys, this next one, I would say that this one is not pastel. Now, this one does have a all white head, uh, but there's like no pattern on the sides. There's no spots, no, nothing like that. So I'm gonna lean towards uh, this one being not pastel. And as far as the eyes go, these eyes are a little bit more on the orange or red side, so I'm gonna lean towards Candino. His, this one's white pattern is not pure white. It's a little bit more lavender colored, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna think that this one might be a Candino. Um, and again, I don't think pastel, but that is, well, actually looking at these eye stripes, there's some very good yellow very clean yellow for the eye stripes and then kind of a blushed out head. Um, so that would make me lean towards pastel actually. Like, again, we're gonna have to do some more research. I've been trying to search around and figure this stuff out, but there's just not a lot of pastel albino, pastel candino type stuff out there. So it's a little tough when you're kind of some of the first ones producing something to really know what they are. Uh, but I'm gonna to lean towards pastel on this one. And then again, I, I would say that this is gonna be a Candino. I'm gonna prove Candino once it gets a little bit older, a little bit bigger, uh, it'll start coloring up purple. Okay, so this is the last of the non-genetic stripes. Um, again, I think this one's gonna be a pastel Candino. Uh, it's very similar to the last one uh, with, the, with the way the pattern is, uh, the white head darker eyes. Uh, so I'm going to say that this one's going to be a pastel candino as well. Uh, it's got the really bright yellow eye stripes and a lot of the orange blushing um, down his back. Uh, so that's that's another thing that pastel has is the blushing. And so with albinos, blushing ends up being like these orange blushes in the, in the saddles. So I'm going to lean towards a pastel candino again here. Uh, so it looks like our candy is the only one that doesn't have pastel. We have a couple more clutches like this this year, uh, where we're gonna be, we're gonna need to know how to t tell what these are. So um, that's this last one, and we'll, uh, let's go to the genetic stripes. Okay, guys. So with the genetic stripes, I've teased them some, and some of you, so some of you have seen kind of how different the two are. Uh, essentially. One has a lot of white for its stripe, and one one is orange instead of white. We have this first one is the one with the white on it. So it's got a white head, uh, and then it's got the the stripes are pretty well defined and white uh, with orange on the edges. Eyes are pretty dark, so I'm gonna lean towards Candino on this one. I don't think it's as dark as the one that I'm pretty sure is a candy, so. I think that this one's gonna be a Candino, not a candy. Um, this is the girl. Uh, the other one is the male. We did get a pair, so the two stripes are definitely staying here. We're not gonna sell them, regardless if they're albino or not. Um, but I'm pretty sure both of them are either candy or Candino, so I think we did well there. I really, really like how this snake looks as a baby. I'm really excited if it is a Candino or a candy to see how awesome it's gonna look when it gets older with the purple coming in. Uh, but it's really tough for me to know which one's which because they are so different. And like I said, these are the first ones in the world. So we're, we can't, uh, we can kind of guess based off of other uh, similar combos, like a, like a pastel lavender genetic stripe is probably gonna look pretty similar to this. Uh, and pastel lavender genetic stripe would look like this with the white head 
the pretty well-defined stripes. Um, so I'm gonna think that this one is the pastel and the other one is a regular genetic stripe, but I do believe that the other one is candy. I think we got the can pastel candino genetic stripe and then the other one is the candy genetic stripe and that is our male. So I'm really excited for him to be hopefully uh, hopefully our, our future breeder, uh, one of our future breeders for this project. So um, this girl is gorgeous regardless of what she is. Um, and that's some, sometimes that's a thing that us as breeders get caught up in. We're so focused on trying to like just layer on as many genes as possible. Whereas sometimes you guys take a step back and be like, this is really cool and I just want to produce these. I don't necessarily care what the genes are as long as I can reproduce it. So uh, not to say that we don't care what genes are and that we're selling stuff that's that we don't know what it is or anything like that. We're, we're definitely confident in what we're selling things as and we will be with this project just like any other project. We will do our research. We will, you know, be as, um, as confident as we can be uh, in what we're selling. And so the difference is here, these two are staying no matter what, and we'll prove them out down the line when we breed them. There is that element though of just buying snakes because they have a lot of genes, but they might not look good. The whole point of this whole designer ball python thing is to make them look as cool as possible. And we want a ton of variety, we don't want to end up in the same place as everyone else, but. We also don't want to keep making things that have a ton of genes but don't look that cool. Um, and this is giving me high confidence and a lot of excitement in this project because there's so much more we can do with it. And we've kind of hinted at it in some of the other videos of what we're, what our plans are with this. And I will do that um, video kind of of this whole project once we've got a little bit more uh, confidence in what we what we hatched out in this first clutch. We have three more clutches in this project that are all double hat candy genetic stripes. Uh, so there won't be any albinos. There will either be candy or candino in, in, the, in the new breedings. Really excited about these two. And this girl is gorgeous with the white um, and then these like orange highlighting around the edges. It's so cool. Now, onto the male, who I am judging from their eyes, the, this one's eyes are so much darker than the other one, and the orange. Now we have a Candino Pides, and we also have an Enchi Candino Pied. Those are future males for that project. And they, uh, the Enchi especially, Candino Pied, has orange, this this shade of orange, this like uh, almost sherbet orange for uh, where the black would have been on, on that snake. So I'm pretty stoked and pretty confident that this is the candy genetic stripe and um, this orange will just get more bright as it gets older because it'll turn more of that toffee uh, and purple color hopefully the yellow will kind of uh, fade and be more yellow and the actual stripe will become more orange and will be really have a nice definition have nice de definition there his head is yellow with some orange on it um, so no real blushing there is no white on the snake except for his belly and uh, that is why I don't think we got pastel here because uh, it's a darker snake in general he has really cool, I believe. Yeah, his eye stripes are orange too, which is really cool. Um, and so I'm really, really excited to watch this guy grow, put some size on, get some more color, and I'm really excited to share the rest of this project with you guys in, a, in another month or so when we, when we have a little bit more data, a little bit more confidence in what we've got, but I'm, pretty sure we hit the candy genetic stripe and that is just really cool on our first clutch in this project to hit the hit everything so really exciting we will update you guys once we know um so thank you guys so much for watching 
really excited about this project. We're really excited about showing you the rest of the project and the plans for the project. And uh, we have some awesome animals that hatched out this week. They're all in sheds, so I'm not gonna show you any of them until um, probably next week or the week after, once they've all shed and we've started getting them to eat and all that stuff. But that, uh, we're having an awesome year this year. We just hit 55 clutches today which is awesome. Uh, we have probably five to 10 more to go that we're expecting. It's gonna be our biggest year and we're, we're hatching out some really cool stuff and we have some really cool clutches coming. So definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when we post those videos because there are some really cool things coming. Let us know what you think in the, in the comments below. Let us know what you think these IDs are. Obviously the camera's not gonna pick these up perfectly um, but let me know what you think in the comments leave a like uh, and we'll catch you in next week's video thank you for watching